Uh, how appropriate to follow a talk that ended with an explosion with a talk about explosions. Uh, I'm sure uh, we've all taken note of the various building projects going on at the moment around the Queen Mary campus. Uh, all of them, like the lock keeper's cottage before them, striking buildings that revel in the contrasts between new and old, inside and outside, glass and steel. We can appreciate these buildings by looking at them, by going inside them, perhaps even poring over blueprints in our spare time. But these spaces can also be explored by blowing the living daylights out of them. <laughs> in destroying architecture, we learn more about it. As a PhD student in the film department, I analyse the way such destruction is used in contemporary action cinema to offer a heightened perception of the spaces in which we live. <coughs> Take, for instance, The Bourne Ultimatum. I'm sure most of us have both seen the film and spent some of our lives at Waterloo Station. Hopefully I'm not the only one who thinks of Jason Bourne when I'm running to catch my train. Uh, but part of being Jason Bourne, the main part, I think, is being hyper-aware of your surroundings. The film makes us see Waterloo Station in a new way. It interrogates the space for us, its security infrastructure, its layout, its lines of sight. It heightens our perception of this very real space. The same thing happens in, the, uh, in a shootout in the New York Guggenheim Museum in the 2009 thriller The International. The spiralling rotunda is transformed into a shooting gallery and the sequence works hard to echo the structure of the building itself with its spiralling shots. The museum is designed for the display of art, but a large-scale action sequence within it just feels right. I argue that this is because an audience wants to see the space engaged with in a new way even destroyed, in order to fully understand it. We can add to these examples James Bond running around a construction site and sinking a Venetian palazzo, or John McClane running around an LA high-rise and playing hide-and-seek with terrorists in the original Die Hard. All are spectacular action films, all deploy large-scale architecture and its destruction as one of their key pleasures. Yet this compulsion for destruction is based not, I think, on nihilism or anarchy, but rather a desire for a fuller understanding of space. And for that reason, I look forward, as I hope we all do, to the as yet unwritten Jason Statham film in which he throws bad guys through the glass walls of the new mathematical sciences building on the Queen Mary campus, because then we'll really get a feel for what that space is like. Thank you.